Welcome, soccer friend, to the magical world of soccer bedtime stories, where dreams and goals come together. I'm your host, Tomek, and I'm here to accompany you on a journey through the stories of some of the greatest players, games, and tournaments as you drift off to sleep. If this is your first time visiting our soccer dream world, and you enjoy the story, we welcome you to follow and subscribe to listen to all the stories in our library. If you are a returning soccer dreamer, we encourage you to review, comment, star, and like the stories you love most. Your feedback and ideas help us get better and help to expand our soccer dreaming community. Please reach out to us. It's as easy as a pass to a friend. You can just email us at soccerbedtimestories at gmail.com. Enjoy the story. Sleep well and dream big. As we embark on our adventure, soccer friend, let's take a deep breath and imagine that we are all snuggled up in a cozy blanket, surrounded by warmth and comfort. Tonight's story is one that will transport us to a magical world where anything is possible. We'll meet heroes, maybe a couple of villains, travel to far off lands, and experience incredible adventures together. So let's close our eyes, relax, and get ready to embark on an unforgettable journey that will fill our dreams with wonder and excitement. The Four Clasicos, 18 Days of Real Madrid and FC Barcelona. Once upon a time, when the fields were green and the fans were loud, there were two great teams who were the biggest rivals in all the land. On the continent of Europe, in the country of Spain, Real Madrid and FC Barcelona met in some of the most intense soccer battles in the world had seen. Simply, the two teams, the two grab and groups of fans, and the two cities did not like each other, not one little bit. Real Madrid came to be in 1902 with their amazing squads They became the kings of Spanish football, winning 35 La Liga titles. But their true claim to fame was in the legendary UEFA Champions League, where they dazzled the world with their mesmerizing skills and won 14 trophies, making them the most successful European team in history. Founded in 1899, FC Barcelona embarked on a pretty remarkable journey filled with victories and glory. With their mesmerizing style of play, known as tiki-taka, weaved spells on the field, passing the ball with incredible precision and grace, FC Barcelona became the champions of La Liga 27 times, leading fans in awe with their breathtaking performances. With legendary players like Lionel Messi, Xavi, Iniesta and Gavi, FC Barcelona captivated a worldwide following. Each year, the two would meet countless times, with every match deciding a championship or a cup or bragging rights as the best in Spain. One year, though, stood out as the pinnacle of the rivalry. In 2011, Barcelona and Madrid met four times in 18 days and helped decide the Copa del Rey La Liga, and Champions League titles. The first match was something out of a fairy tale. It was called the Clasico. Real Madrid and Barcelona faced off on April 16th in a thrilling game. It was a true clash of titans. Real Madrid was eight points behind and needed a win to trade to catch up to Barcelona and to stop them from winning La Liga. Both teams were so talented and led by the two greatest players in the world, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Barcelona took the lead after halftime when the incredible Lionel Messi converted a penalty, equalizing the record for 49 goals in a Spanish season. Real Madrid faced adversity as defender Raul Apiol was shown a red card for bringing down David Villa, leaving them with only 10 players on the field. 
But just like true champions, Real Madrid fought back valiantly. With determination in their hearts, they pressed on despite being a man down. With only nine minutes left on the clock, Marcelo was fouled by Barcelona's Daniel Alves, and the referee awarded Real Madrid a penalty, which was confidently converted by Cristiano Ronaldo. Though the match ended in a draw, it was a testament to the spirit of competition and the unyielding resolve of both teams. Barcelona, with their eight-point lead at the top of the table, were on the course for a third successive La Liga title. Just four days later, they met again, but this time it was for a special prize called the Copa del Rey. It is a magical tournament, and Real Madrid needed to win to end a three-year trophy drought. The game itself remained tied all through the 90 minutes, with Jose Mourinho providing a defensive strategy for the ages. Anytime the Barcelona attack, like Villa or Pedro, whenever they touched the ball, they were surrounded by two or more Madrid players. Real Madrid's defensive discipline paid off in extra time when in a moment of pure magic, Cristiano Ronaldo scored an incredible goal with his head. From a delightful cross from Angel Di Maria, Real Madrid won. They were so happy because they hadn't won any trophy, and this special trophy in particular, in a long time. The story doesn't end there, my soccer friend. These two teams met again in the biggest of tournaments called the Champions League. They met in the first leg of the semi-final on April 27. This grand adventure with two legs, two matches that would decide who advanced to the final. The coaches, Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho, were the wise men trying to outsmart each other with their tactics. Emotions ran high, and the match was marred by controversial incidents. Real Madrid's Pepe was shown a red card for a high foot challenge on Barcelona's Dani Alves, sparking debates and heated exchanges, and a Jose Mourinho red card as well. Amidst all this tension, the incredible, remarkable, wonderful Lionel Messi showcased his extraordinary talent, scoring two mesmerizing goals that gave Barcelona a crucial 2 0 advantage. In the final part of our classico magical tale, the two teams played one last match just a week later, 18 days after the first. Barcelona was ahead, and Real Madrid was trying their best to catch up in the second leg. The stakes were higher than ever, with Jose Mourinho serving a touchline ban. His assistant coach, Aitor Caranca, took charge of Real Madrid from the sidelines. The atmosphere was electric as both teams fought fiercely for a place in the final. In a glimmer of hope for Real Madrid, Marcelo scored the opening goal, igniting dreams of a miraculous comeback. The match, though, was more subdued compared to the first leg and the games before that, but the intensity of play in this rivalry never waned. The players left everything on the field showcasing the passion and determination that made them encounter a legendary chapter in football history. Barcelona did end up tying the match and advancing, and later winning the Champions League final. And thus, my dear soccer friend, the tale of the four Clásicos and the 18 days of Real Madrid and FC Barcelona comes to an end. It was a story of fierce competition, epic battles, and the unyielding spirit of true champions. From the green fields to the roaring stadiums, the rivalry between these two great teams captivated the hearts of fans far and wide. Real Madrid, with its rich history and countless triumphs, stood as a testament to perseverance and determination. FC Barcelona, with its mesmerizing tiki-taka style and legendary players, showcased the beauty of the beautiful game. Through all the highs and lows, victories and draws, the story taught us valuable lessons. It reminded us that in sports, as in life, there are moments of joy and moments of disappointment. But what truly matters is the love for the game, 
the camaraderie between players and the thrill of competition. It's about cherishing the journey, celebrating the wins and learning from the losses. And so, as the final whistle blows on this tale, we bid farewell to the magical 18 days of 2011 and the classicos that we encountered. But the spirit of the game, the passion of the classicos, and the dreams of young and old alike will forever carry on. For in the world of sports and beyond, every day holds new adventures, new challenges, and new triumphs waiting to be written in the story of our game. May your dreams be filled with the magic of the classico, and may you continue to cherish the joy of the beautiful game. So sleep well, my soccer friend, and dream big. Hey, soccer friends. If you enjoy soccer bedtime stories, you might also enjoy the Soccer Time Machine podcast. It is a soccer history daily for kids, by kids. Join our young soccer fans on an epic adventure through the history of the beautiful game. From legendary players to historic moments, we'll explore it all in a fun and engaging way that's perfect for young soccer fans like you. So grab your jerseys and get ready to kick off this exciting journey with the Soccer Time Machine podcast on August 1st, wherever you listen to podcasts. Subscribe and follow to make sure you don't miss an episode. Now, off to our bedtime story, Sweet Soccer Dreams. <laughs>